form, which uh, Bookmap I know had an issue finding a really big brokerage firm that can you know integrate their data feeds and everything into it. So um, it worked out pretty well, and you know this is the first presentation of the launch of the merger of the two platforms of Bookmap and TradeStation, and we're just very flattered and honored to host the event for all of you guys to kind of listen to it and see what it's all about. Now, remember, this is going to be recorded. Everyone's going to be able to watch it and listen it over again. But, um, but if you know us and how we trade using that, this product, it just, it, it just changes everything. Remember, how do we trade the market? Making money. That's it. You follow the money. There's no other better platform than to do it than the book map version, but having integrated into your trade state platform just makes it so much easier. You know, there are a lot of platforms out there, you know, regarding like maybe or swim or fidelity you know, you know and, and you look at them and but they don't have all the bells and whistles you got to go on different platforms you got to do this you got to import that you got to open up you got to like seven screens now you have it all under one window so it's definitely a, you know a benefit you're all going to watch so i don't want to take too much time but what we have is like i said we have the uh presenter from book Mac. Okay, it's going to be Bruce. Bruce is going to be talking about the product and teaching you very, very well educated about the product. Oh, and by the way, for all of you guys, you can also use this towards futures uh, too and uh, cryptocurrency too, which I know TradeStation Ventures is going to be trading on that. But you can also, it's not just stock trading, it's also doing on that. And then we'll have uh, Chris Walker is going to make a big announcement at the end of the presentation of a big promotion that TradeStation has just launched. And I think you're all going to want to jump on it. All right. So uh, without further ado, Bruce, I'm going to give you the stage and it's all yours. Enjoy the presentation, everyone. Okay. Okay, so you guys can hear me and see me. Okay, great. Okay. All right, well then uh, we're all set to go here. Um, all right, so uh, first off, um, let's, uh, I'm sorry about this. Hold on, just uh, getting my bearings here with Zoom. Um, okay, well, uh, so we're, we're gonna, like as Fausto mentioned, uh, this is the introduction of uh, Bookmap connecting to TradeStation. I've been waiting for this for a bit, and uh, this is this is the launch. Uh, so, what is Bookmap? Well, we're going to be talking about trading U.S. equities uh, uh, via TradeStation, or the, we'll route the orders into TradeStation. And Bookmap is data visualization here. So, uh, let's go through the risk disclaimer. Trading uh, equities futures uh, involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. And I just want to reach out and say thank you. Uh, Cyber Trading University and TradeStation. Uh, we think this is going to be a, a, a great win-win uh, for, for everybody here. Uh, and uh, we're really excited to work with you guys. Uh, so uh, let's, uh, let's continue on here. A little bit about me. Um, I'm a trader of 10 years in a variety of markets here. Order flow specialist here at Bookmap and I lead the trading education. Uh, expertise in uh, order flow and market microstructure. Uh, you can uh, find us on Twitter at Bookmap underscore pro. Uh, also uh, on YouTube, and I'll, I'll share with you a few things on YouTube, uh, and then uh, support at bookmap.com if you have any questions, you can reach out to us there. Okay, so what is Bookmap, right? Well, it's a trading platform, a standalone trading platform, uh, and uh, it accurately uh, shows the entire uh, market liquidity and trading activities, uh, and this allows you to identify the trends and hidden price patterns with high precision, and that's important. Uh, compared to other products out there. Okay, we, we came from the HFT environment and uh, uh, very accurate and precise data uh, offers a level of transparency other platforms uh, just, uh, uh, well, I haven't seen anything that uh, quite matches it. Um, so full transparency and actions of intentions of traders in the, in the market participants. Okay, we're talking about the auction here. We're talking about the order book. Uh, and uh, traders can view uh, the evolution of that order book uh, over time, okay, with um, uh, with no delays and and uh, also uh, no aggregated uh, uh, data or information, which is another key. So it, it's kind of a big question here. So how many of you are new to Bookmap here? Uh, and uh, if if so, then we're going to review some of the basics. Uh, if not, then we're going to jump into some of the price action here. 
uh, and uh, and start to uh, go through the. Um, okay, so a lot of you guys are new. Okay, all right. Well, I, I want to get to some of that price um, uh, activity as well, uh, and um, uh, or recent things that uh, Josh was just talking about in his uh, uh, market, uh, you know, closing bell there. Uh, so uh, anyway, let's uh, let's um, and and then. I'll, I'll get into uh, connecting a book map to trade station. Okay, so um, uh, that's that's going to be an important part of this webinar here. Uh, so uh, let's uh, let's take a look here. So uh, we'll jump over to book map. Okay, and let's see. Okay, uh, do you guys now see book map? No. Okay. All right. So let me, I get. I guess I got to change it here in Zoom. Just a moment. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. So now you should be looking at book map. Do you see book map? Okay. Excellent. All right. Well, let's just start off with one of those ones Josh was just looking at here. Some great stuff here. Um, anyway, we'll, we'll get into some of the um, uh, uh, you know price act activity here uh, in in some detail here. I mean, some beautiful things here in the stocks. I, I just just love it here. Um, uh, anyway, the um, uh, what book map is showing you? Okay, so let's zoom in here just a little bit. Uh, and for those of you who are new, you're going to be looking at this and thinking. Wow, there's a lot of things going on here. Uh, this looks very complex uh, and confusing. Okay, it's actually quite the opposite. Uh, these are very simple uh, uh, pieces of data here. Uh, there's only three elements on the map chart, and none of them are derivatives of time, price, and volume. This is a very clear and objective view of the marketplace. So let me explain. The first one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Uh, go over each uh, of the three individual uh, uh, elements here. Now, the heat map, uh, for example, uh, this is the one that throws everyone for a loop. Okay, they don't understand what it is, and it just looks so complex. It's just liquidity. It's just showing you where the limit orders are. Uh, these are where the uh, sellers are up here in these areas, and it's very high liquidity. Okay, and look how the market was attracted to that area of high liquidity. Okay. Also down in this little area here, and it traded through that area. It did we get a little bit of a pullback and then a then a push up into that very high liquidity at where? 21 the figure. Okay. So anyway, great targets. Uh, now, so that's all it is is just limit orders here. Limit sell orders, limit buy orders down below current price or historical price here. Let's take the heat map off. Okay. And uh, uh, that's going to simplify things a lot. Now we're only looking at two elements on the book map chart. Okay. One is best bid and offer, okay. and the other are, the, the, are these volume dots. And the volume dots are just showing you the transactions on that best bid and offer. That's all it is. Okay. In fact, let's take the, best, the, uh, the volume dots off. Okay. It's just best bid and offer. This is a, a very simplistic view of the marketplace. And there's an advantage to looking at price this way or price activity this way, because it's non-aggregated data. Okay, you're just looking at streaming best bid and offer. A lot of traders always ask, well, if they're new, uh, like what, what time frame is, is book map? There is no time frame here. It's just streaming best bid and offer. Okay, now, I mean, you could put a, 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 an amount of data within this viewable chart range if you like, uh, using this time slice tool here. We can look at like 60 minutes of data here. Uh, and then you can see each uh, vertical dotted line, it changes, but it, it divvies out time here. Uh, in this case, it's 15 minutes, okay? So um, anyway, uh, so you get an idea uh, or a kind of gauge uh, time here uh, in, uh, in the marketplace. Now, uh, now why, do, why do I say that uh, this non-aggregated data or this streaming best bid and offer uh, is uh, superior? Okay, well, let's overlay a candlestick chart here. Okay, and let me... Uh, Configure that at the moment. All right, because we're looking at one minute chart. Let's look at five. There we go. Okay, so and let me go one more time here. All right. Okay, so now every five minutes, what I'm getting 
is only four data points. Open, high, low, and close. And this is a really good example right here. So we're gonna zoom into this little area right here. Okay, so what happened in between this five minute period, we have no clue. Okay, we just know that this is where this candle uh, uh, closed here. It opened over here. Uh, you, you see the low, you see the high, et cetera. Uh, now, with the streaming best bid and offer, look at the nuances you can see in the price action. There was an area of consolidation down here. Price broke out from it. It came back. It retested the top of that little area of consolidation. It broke out again, retested again, and, it, and then it continued on to the upside. All of that activity here uh, is not present in this five-minute candlestick chart. Why? Because this data is aggregated within a five-minute period. Okay. Now you might be looking at a volume period or you might be looking at uh, a Ranko bar, range bar, point and figure, a rotational period, it doesn't matter. These are still periods of aggregated data and you miss out on the speed of these moves and the nuances in the price action. Now, this is good. So we're now getting a, a level of transparency within that period. Uh, however, uh, let's get uh, a little more depth here okay? and let's add the volume within uh, all of that price action. And let's just make the volume dot size a little bit bigger here. Okay, so now we have context of not only the structure, but the volume within that structure. And it's clear as a bell here that the buyers are in control here, okay, firmly. Uh, they're, they're breaking out on size here. Look at the pullback and look at the, the um, uh, volume that traded back on the pullback here, okay, very little. And okay, look at the breakout here again, strong buy volume. Let's zoom into this area here, and I just want to show you how simple and straightforward this data is. Okay, so we're just looking at the red line being the best offer, the green line is the best bid. Okay, these um, uh, green dots that you see here, these are market buy orders. Okay, they are taking place uh, on the best offer. This is the aggressor classification of volume. Okay, a green dot is a market buy that takes liquidity off of the best offer. That's just how the market works. If you hit the market buy button, you take liquidity. You're not waiting, you're not uh, 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 providing liquidity, you're taking it. Okay, red dot is the opposite. It's hitting the bid okay, and take liquidity off of the bid. All right, so that's all it is. Uh, now we have this context though, uh, which is really nice. Being able to see volume within the structure. Okay. And again, look at this little pullback here. Okay. Look at the volume down here. Nothing, not, not one uh, uh, share. Okay. Even here. Okay. There's a little bit here, but very none here. Okay. So we, we continue on to the upside here uh, and, the, and the breakout continues or trends to the upside here. Uh, so uh, now we, we're starting to read the order flow pretty well here. We're starting to understand um, volume and price structure, speed of moves and who's in control by looking at the volume here. That's good. There's still a major piece here that is missing. And that is the, where they're bidding and offering. And that's where the heat map comes in, okay? So let's go back to the current market. And I guess we're not gonna have too much liquidity here to go over, but uh, let's um, select the heat map, all right? Now, with the heat map, now we're starting to see where are they bidding and offering, okay? It's, it's not uh, uh, necessarily the transactions here, uh, it, it's, it's where they're resting orders, right? And uh, that's usually we get that information from our, uh, our dome, okay, our depth of market. Uh, and uh, this COB column here in Bookmap, it stands for current order book. This is liquidity, this is your dome in Bookmap, right? So you're looking at here, uh, these, um, uh, well, you see the uh, histogram as well as the uh, numerical values. Okay, this is liquidity. These are the limit uh, sell orders above current price, and these are the limit buys down below. And so that's all it is. Now, when these numbers change, and let's, let's just demo this, uh, go back in the, in the market here. When these numbers change, you'll see the heat map change. Okay, and let's see, I'm having a hard time kind of navigating around here. Um, this works for futures, yes. Uh, and um, uh, I'm having some issues with uh, my voice here, okay. Um, uh, yeah, uh, let's see, the question about one minute chart. Well, you st you're still getting aggre aggregated data within a one minute chart. 
right? So yeah, you're going to see more more uh, uh, price action, but it's still aggregated data. You're not going to see the microstructure, right? So uh, anyway, uh, that's um, the answer on that one. Does this work on options? Uh, yes. Well, I mean, I'm sorry. No, you'd be looking at the underline, okay? But you can certainly trade options very nicely with this. Uh, why is that? Because uh, you're going to just uh, uh, make a you know a killing on the uh, on the Vega, uh, when you see price breaking out into very, very high liquidity, and then it starts to exhaust out, you start to look for a reversal, uh, the Vega is gonna be very high, uh, and you're gonna be able to uh, uh, you know, short, short it and, uh, and, and, and clean up a, a bit on the, uh, on the volatility. Anyway, um, let's, um, let's go over this heat map again. So I just wanna show you how it's derived and, and all these striations that you see in price Okay, so this little area in here, right? It went from yellow to, to, um, to orange and red. Okay, well, we see 13, uh, you know, 1,500 shares here at 2080, okay? And then here, very high liquidity here at uh, 2075. And let's zoom vertically a little bit here. We see um, just basically 20,000 shares there, okay? Now, the color of the heat map uh, or the scale of the heat map is up here. Red, orange is very high liquidity, followed by yellow, white, blue, and then black is very low liquidity. So we can see in the histogram, we can see the numerical, numerical value, and we see the graphical representation here. Red is very high liquidity. Okay, and then up here, 13.5 thousand at 2080. Now let's scroll forward a little bit and see how it, it went from this, um, this uh, kind of yellow or orange color, okay? Then, then, it, and then it, it bumped up into uh, 18,000 up here. Okay, so 5,000 shares uh, added and the, the color changed here. So these striations that you see in the color in the heat map is just the adding and pulling of liquidity. That's all it is. It's just plotted and recorded onto the chart historically. This allows us to start to read uh, the, the condition and the intent of the, uh, of the traders, the condition of auction. Okay, where are the traders uh, lined up? Uh, and then are the intent of these traders, do they stay in the book? Do they get filled? Uh, do they pull that liquidity and add it higher? These are all sorts of details that we want to understand because it has an effect on price. Let's take the candlestick chart off here. And uh, uh, anyway, that gives a kind of a good overview, I think, of uh, what book map is or these three elements on the book map chart. Now, we can go in and start to read the auction like we were. Um, I forget where we were. Uh, uh, I think maybe down in this area here, uh, looking for this, um, uh, the buyers taking control in these little pullbacks in these areas here. Yeah, down here. Uh, and, um, you know, so we're reading this on a, on a very low time frame, though, right? We're, we're just looking at, you know, minutes of data here. Okay. Well, because this is all recorded, uh, you can zoom out. And you can use this on much, much higher time frames. So, as Josh was talking about, uh, the uh, uh, looking at this uh, AMRN, uh, well, some beautiful stuff here. Okay, first off, powerful move to the upside. Okay, at the open, where, where did it go? High liquidity here. It traded through it. It went up to the next one and traded into it, and not enough to trade up here into 21. Okay, we get a pullback. Where does the pullback go to? For the most part back to where that liquidity level and that large transaction was. Okay, see how we're starting to understand now the context between liquidity, transactions, and price structure, All right? We come back up again and uh, into high liquidity here and through here, still not enough buyers to reach this 21 level yet, okay? Well, anyway, look at these guys that come into the book here, really interesting stuff. Uh, they start to layer in here, okay, uh, on the bid. Okay, larger players, and they're staying in the book. And look at look at how they're coming in. It's just um, uh, you can see all of the details here. So uh, you know this looks like this guy came in first, maybe followed by this guy, and then all of these other levels here started to come in afterwards. Likely some of the same players for sure. Okay, and look at that pull here as well at the same time and add back in here. These kinds of details, if you try to find or watch these in the dome, it would be very difficult. Okay, but we have it all here and it's all visually uh, uh, presented to you so you can uh, very easily see uh, this price action. We can zoom into this area here and we can, we can uh, verify, did this area trade? 
and we can look right at it. And these, look at the transactions taking place right into that high liquidity here. Yes, it traded. All right, so anyway, uh, we can verify these areas here. Uh, and uh, uh, finally, well, these guys are starting to slow down. Well, you see the, the heavy selling into this area here. And then they hit the bid again. And one more time, that's it, right? Down into this, this area here at 2010, uh, that's about it. And then we start to see buyers come in. Okay, now let's, let's watch this here. Uh, and um, well, at that point here, there's still more liquidity down here. It's a little bit higher though, okay, at 2012. Uh, and, uh, and we go sideways for a bit, okay? Well, we start to find some buyers up in these areas here. It's, it's really sideways in here, I have to, have to admit. Uh, nice cluster of buying here, okay? Into high liquidity and they start to trade through it. Now this is starting to look good for it going up into the next area of a high liquidity here at 2050 and then maybe 2060, okay? I like 2060 because it's at the top of the swing here. Uh, maybe uh, kind of hit some stops up in that area. Uh, it does not. Uh, where do we get the pullback? Right to this cluster, okay? And see how the structure starts to, to work here. In fact, we can look at the structure over here, okay? And, and this is just a beautiful example. Uh, you can see that uh, we bounced off of it to begin with and we, and we see the sellers trade through this area. It broke down below 2032, okay? And, uh, and then you can see that uh, we got a pullback to where it broke from. It continued to break down here again, right? But then we go sideways and we keep hitting the top here of this 2032, let's call it, but it's about 2036 until we find that cluster of buyers here. They break out from that area and now Look how this area of uh, kind of resistance turns into support. Okay, now a lot of times you'll find a lot of uh, limit buy orders in these areas here as well. This time we don't, we don't. Uh, but you can see that uh, we come down into these areas here and we just don't find any sellers or very few sellers. Uh, buyers take it back up and we're looking for it to come back up into this 2060 and it does. Okay, anyway. Um, so uh, yeah, good example with uh, very, very high liquidity here uh, and uh, some, some interesting price uh, action here or um, auction uh, activity here uh, on the bid uh, all the way back down into 20. Uh, anyway, uh, all right, let's get um, back to, uh, let's see, some, uh, let's get back to the presentation. Okay, you, you, can, you can see now the, the presentation, correct? Yes? Yeah, okay. i just make sure I'm, I've got the right screen here. All right. Uh, so, I will go over, uh, actually I took a few trades here. Before I get into connecting to trade station, um, I was kind of waiting to, uh, to present here and uh, I, you know, I, I just couldn't help myself. Uh, uh, so, I um, jumped in on a few here and uh, I want to show you this because we're going to get into trading from bookmap, okay? Uh, you'll connect to DX feed for your data. You will need that connection, uh, but then you'll, you, you can trade from the bookmap chart into uh, your funded trade station account. And I just wanna go over a few examples here uh, because, um, because we can. Uh, and um, uh, what is so great about the one-click trading, uh, well, you know, I'm not trying to, uh, uh, really hype this up. I just really like it. I think this one-click trading is, is quite amazing. Why is that? Uh, because you can trade right from the book map chart. You have the heat map here in front of you. That means that now you can manage your trades according to the heat map. Okay, That's one uh, example of why I like this so much. Uh, the other is that the um, all of my trading activity here is recorded. So I can see precisely uh, what my actions were. And if I go back and review my trading, okay, and that's what really helps uh, you become a better trader is to go back and review your trading activity. What did you do? Uh, uh, why did you do it? And, and look how you have to be accountable here, okay? So for example, um, I got in here. I, I was actually looking for a breakout uh, in this, uh, a, APDN, okay? Here's the breakout right here, actually, right? So that, 
let me let me just zoom, zoom out a little bit because I was looking at this on much higher time frame. Okay, I saw a strong move here, uh, and um, uh, so this strong move here, the next one here. Okay, I know the buyers are in control. I'm looking for the pullback to where, basically this little area here, or maybe even just a little bit lower. Anyway, I jumped in here. Now I made a mistake here as well, and I got stopped out very quickly. Uh, I have it set for the one click trading here. I usually uh, look at, uh, at futures. Uh, I had it for six ticks, so six cents, uh, and, or four cents, I think, and I got stopped out almost immediately, okay? Uh, so anyway, I jumped right back in uh, and then uh, you know, fixed that and then uh, uh, moved my stops, okay? So I moved my take profit up here. Okay, I'm front running this liquidity up here at 18, right? And then here's my, uh, my sell stop down below, okay? Let's start, once price started to come up, I, I um, hide or I'm protecting my stop below this liquidity here on the bid, okay? So my management is based on, um, well, not only the, the, the entry, uh, but uh, uh, where the liquidity is, okay? And uh, this is a really nice advantage. Okay, being able to really react to it here. Uh, and uh, basically just uh, let this run, okay? And uh, I, you know, was pretty pretty sure that guy, there was, you know, a lot of buying in here, a lot of back and forth here, but uh, was looking for it to trade up into 18. And, and basically, you know, a little bit, a little bit higher, but uh, I was fine with 18, I got, I got filled, I'm out, okay? Uh, that was that. Now we can go over another one here uh, with, um, Uh, DXC. Okay, now this one was uh, waiting for this to break out and uh, it just didn't quite happen. Um, it did a bit. Uh, uh, anyway, so here, here again, um, traded up into high liquidity here at 35. Okay, and uh, let's see, can I take the slide you stop out once in your trade? Um, Oh yeah, you can you can move your your um, your um, uh, you know uh, up and down or you know other areas, etc. Uh, there's all sorts of different ways uh, to uh, to manage these. Okay, uh, yes, that's high liquidity is in red there. Yep, that's all it means. It's high liquidity. So look at the transactions, the buyers into that high liquidity up here. Okay, well where did I get in? I got in on the pullback, right? I'm looking for the pullback to this the top of this little range here. Beautiful little entry right here, okay? And um, uh, and then I actually, uh, uh, there's a trick I can show you guys maybe uh, maybe another time. Uh, I got in without a bracketed order, I put an OCO in. So I put my, uh, uh, my take profit up here, okay? And my sell stop was down here, all right? And then actually I got in again, right? I'm looking for the breakout. Uh, and um, I, I got in again here, uh, and uh, and it just went back and forth and back and forth here. All right, and then uh, yeah, I just I just let this run uh, until uh, my target was hit up here, and I front ran this high liquidity yet again. Okay, up here at this uh, thirty-five twenty-five. Okay. All right, now this is where it got a little tricky, uh, but I started to see this. Look at this high liquidity on the bid, okay? And they're, they're, uh, they're skewing the auction. They're showing a lot of demand here and they're pushing price up higher into high liquidity that's on the offer, okay? So I was looking for it to trade up into 35.50, right? Uh, and I was thinking, well, yeah, I think, I think it, it looks pretty good. If you have a lot of these guys here showing high demand on the bid, I'm looking for this to, to break out up into 35.50. Okay, well, it, it just kept on going back and forth and back and forth. Uh, in fact, uh, I was looking for it one more time here. And what did I do here? Okay, so I'm already in this, uh, you know, with, uh, with, with 200, uh, 200 shares. And um, now uh, I put my, uh, I put a buy stop up here actually, thinking, right, based on this activity over here, that uh, if we can get back up into this area here, I'm looking for a lot of buyers to break out and come up into that 3550. Okay. Well, I never got filled on this, right? So uh, it just, it, my, uh, 
uh, it was this was a, a buy stop. It never got filled. Instead, I moved my my uh, my stop up. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, I moved my stop up here. Okay, from the other um, 100 that was left. I'm sorry. So I was out 100. Here. The other 100 was here, and then I got stopped out just about at break even. Okay, a little break even plus a couple of cents or so, uh, and then that was it. Right. Uh, and uh, and then I just I just canceled right because we're we're approaching uh, you know four o'clock here Eastern time, uh, and I'm out, okay? and I'm I'm done. Anyway, I'm just trying to go over the uh, uh, this uh, one click trading here within Bookmap because now I'm going to demo how you can trade that uh, uh, within TradeStation, okay? Uh, and just all the little nuances uh, about reading the order flow here and you're using your trade management within the order flow. Okay, so uh, anyway, uh, let me know. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll get back to some of the questions here uh, in just a minute. Let's go back to the presentation. So how do you get um, a book map connected to TradeStation? Okay. Here's how you do it. This is what you need. First, you need to subscribe or purchase book map. Okay, uh, you'll need book map global plus version. Okay, not global, you'll need the global plus. That allows for the one-click trading that I just demoed. Uh, and you will also need Bookmap 7.1 or greater. That is the alpha version right now. All right, so that's number one. Number two is you're gonna need a subscription to DX feed. Okay, this is for stock data to get it into Bookmap, to connect it to US equities. Okay, so uh, uh, there's a uh, NASDAQ and EdgeX or the bundle of both. Okay, uh, most, most guys uh, are getting the bundle. Uh, the more depth you can get, the, the better, right? The more transparency you get into uh, liquidity at these price levels. All right, so let's, uh, let's go back to Bookmap and let me, let me demo how uh, you can connect Bookmap now. Uh, in fact, let's just uh, we'll save this workspace okay, and then I'm gonna quit. All right. And let's go back here. And now uh, let's open up Bookmap. Okay, and this is how you do it. Now you can see the CTU Bookmap here. Uh, this is the um, uh, uh, white labeled version uh, that the that, that, uh, Cyber Trading University now has uh, for the, for the Bookmap. Um, all right, now the run options window pops up here. Okay, you will need to connect to external data trading through your brokerage uh, account, your live or, you know, your real, um, uh, or it could be a simulated, it could be a demo account, but it is through the brokerage, right? So we're going we're gonna to be, you know, trading live. So we want to go into our funded account here. Uh, and then um, let's open up Bookmap. Okay, that's step one. Okay, and right now I open up Bookmap and I'm not connected to any platform. Okay, so I need to come up to connections Right, and uh, actually, let's configure this from from the very beginning here, uh, and I'll just remove all of these connections. Okay, uh, and uh, let's add a connection. Okay, it pops up as rhythmic first, but we're going to go to the platform here and click on that and go to DX Feed US Stocks. Okay, this is my DX Feed subscription. Right, and let me input my credentials. Okay, so now it still says I'm not connected to any platform. So go back up to connections. We've established a connection. Okay, we've defined it. Now we need to select it. So select it. Okay, uh, and now it says, uh, well, you haven't selected an instrument. So let's click on the plus tab here. Uh, and let's, let's add a BNGO. Okay, and here we go. Okay, now the market's closed. It looks like it's not receiving any data here. Uh, but we should get some historical data. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, so now uh, we've got uh, BNGO, and well, let's open up maybe uh, something else that maybe has, maybe it's still got some uh, activity here. No, no activity. That's fine. Um, Oh, here we go. There we go. Now it's starting to release. Okay, so uh, now we're connected uh, to the market. We're looking at uh, you know a BNGO and Apple. Okay, so now 
uh, we, we still cannot trade here from, from the bookmap chart though. Okay, so we'll go back up to connections and we're gonna add now trade station. So let's configure a new um, uh, connection. We're gonna add connection. Okay, from the platforms here, I'm, going to, I'm now going to select trade station. Okay, and I'm gonna connect this to a simulated trading account okay, uh, with trade station and I'm gonna click okay. And I need to go back up to connections one more time. And then now I select trade station. Okay, now what pops up uh, are my uh, uh, trade station uh, asking for my username and password. Okay, and I'm gonna input that. And let's input the, uh, uh, and now in the, the uh, password, et cetera. Uh, now it, it, it's enabled, okay? So the cross, it, the window pops up, it says that, uh, you know, I am now uh, connected to DX feed for US equities, but I can trade into my trade station account. Okay, so that's that. Click on that. Uh, and if I click back up here on connections, you can see I'm connected to both trade station and DX feed for US equities. Okay, now I'll open up here the um, for the one click trading, the one click panel here. Let's turn it on. Okay, for both uh, trading from the chart or from a dome. And uh, this is another uh, for you guys trading the stocks because you're going to be jumping around a lot. Uh, back and forth, click on this little um, uh, pin right here. Okay, so you'll always have this open and selected. Okay, and let's let's click on 100 shares here. Okay, now you can also come down here, you can have bracketed orders here. Uh, and uh, uh, to not make that mistake that I made earlier, uh, if I put in 200, okay, and I can just type it in here. Okay, um, I should be able to type it in here. Oops, okay. I typed it in earlier. Okay. Yeah, okay, all right, well that, I typed it in earlier, I guess this one's not allowing me to. Um, uh, it, Anyway, the, um, oh, it makes sense. It's a dollar stock here. Um, okay, well, I anyway, uh, you know, select your brackets uh, for the right amount of, uh, these are pennies here. Okay? Each one is a tick, right? Uh, and then, um, uh, and then you, can, you can start to uh, place some trades in here, okay? So, uh, you know, for example, uh, uh, if I left click down below here, now this window pops up saying that I'm, I'm, I'm putting a trade in, okay? And it says that uh, it failed because uh, you know this is uh, market is closed here, right? So anyway, um, I, which is too bad, but uh, anyway, you get the idea here, uh, and you can trade right from the bookmap chart here, uh, just like I was earlier uh, in the demo. Okay. All right. So let me go back to presentation here. Okay. So any questions on this uh, to connect to to, to trade station? You first need Bookmap, uh, Global Plus, and 7.1 or greater, uh, and then next you need to get DX feed, right? Nasdaq, EdgeX, or both. Okay, uh, and then uh, and then you go through that that uh, process that uh, we were just showing here. Now there's a bunch of special offers here to go over. Okay, we have we have some really nice offers here for you. Uh, first uh, is uh, with the um, Cyber Training University and the um, uh, book map special offers. Now I'm going to put all of these into the chat for you guys. Okay. And also some other links for some of the videos to understand uh, uh, how to connect book map to trade station, as well as how to use that one click trading that I was demoing earlier. Okay. So anyway, let's go through these special offers through uh, cyber trading university. This is the link here. And these are the offers. One uh, is um, uh, you can get global plus here for 147 for the first three months. Okay, and then it's uh, after that though is it's 297. Okay, for each three months. Okay, and it re it re recurs quarterly here. So basically, you get half off for the first three months. 
there's also global plus here for a year. Okay. And this is basically, again, like half off for the year. Okay. Uh, and, uh, and then the next year is going to be 948. Or you can also purchase bookmap for lifetime. Now this is global uh, for lifetime here. Okay. It's not global plus. However, with this price here, it includes all the free add-ons or all the add-ons for free for the first year. Okay. So uh, you're basically, you're getting global plus for that entire year um, for, for free. Okay. And then after that though, you can always subscribe to the add-ons for either $50 a month or $600 or I'm sorry, $450 for the year. So you can always get um, access to Global Plus, even with this Global Lifetime version, or, or you can just uh, simply just get Global Plus for Lifetime and you can see the price listed here. And no special on that one. Uh, and um, let, me, uh, let me put these into the, um, into the chat here for you guys. Hold on just a moment. Okay. All right, so here are all the deals here, okay? So I just put it into the chat for you. You should see them there. Uh, and um, uh, let's go through them again, okay? So um, so that's that's the Bookmap uh, Cyber Training University uh, special offer. Uh, now, there's also um, a really nice uh, offer here. Uh, we're really happy to bring this to you. This is Cyber Trading University and Trade Station DX Feed special offer. Okay, you can uh, either through this link here, I put it into the chat for you, uh, you can get Global Plus monthly here for $99, $99 for each month, but then the bundle of NASDAQ and EdgeX or, or CBOE uh, for $49 a month. Okay, this is a big deal here. Uh, so you can now, you're going to get DX feed for a really good deal, okay, for $49 a month. All right, uh, and uh, that's going to be only uh, for each month, and it's only for TradeStation uh, clients, though. Okay, so this that's important. Uh, and get this uh, $49 deal. Okay, so the, uh, the link is in there. Uh, now let's go over, okay, you guys that already have Bookmap. A lot of you at, at, uh, at CTU already have Bookmap and are using it. Okay, so um, uh, anyway, you can, uh, you can get the same deal. So you already own Bookmap or you have Bookmap. Uh, you can use this link here. Okay, you'll just need to log into bookmap.com uh, and, and uh, you can get Bookmap uh, or DX feed um, uh, to connect Bookmap here for $49 a month. Okay, again, though, you need to be a TradeStation client for this. Okay, so uh, uh, anyway, it's a fantastic deal. Uh, and um, uh, that's, uh, those are the three different deals that are offered here. Uh, so let me, um, let me take a quick look here at some of the questions. Okay, uh, because uh, I can understand there, there might be some confusion with some of these, some of these deals here. Uh, but um, uh, it is, uh, uh, you know, some, we have three, three different deals uh, and they're pre pretty, pretty nice, uh, pretty nice offering here. Uh, on top of that, uh, I'm going to also uh, uh, turn it over here to Chris uh, from TradeStation. He has a special deal for you as well. Okay, and then we can get uh, jump into the uh, uh, Q&A here. Great, thanks, Bruce. Can everybody hear me? I can hear you. Okay, great. So yeah. uh, thanks for having us today. Uh, we're very excited about our new connection with Bookmap and the offers provided to the CTU community. We feel the book map's a great tool for you as traders and our brokerage offering provides top quality execution and very competitive commission pricing. Um, as many of you probably already know, we provide direct market access on our per share account setup, which offers a penny per share uh, for the first 500 shares and then six tenths of a penny thereafter. Uh, on top of that, uh, we offer all CTU students a 20% commission rebate up to the full cost of your CTU purchase. So it's, it's, this is huge when choosing a broker, uh, a big advantage uh, to reimburse the cost of your training and data cost. Uh, we're excited today to announce that not only will we provide a rebate on your CTU purchase, but we'll also include all the costs associated with Bookmap, subscription, and data uh, combined together with your CTU 
uh, purchase amount. So uh, it, it's a huge deal. Uh, we're really excited about this connection. So uh, we want to give that to you guys as, as CTU students. Uh, so if you are an existing client, just please re reach out to your account executive and to take advantage of the offer. Um, but if you're not a current TradeStation client, uh, please use the link that we'll put here in the chat box uh, to open an account to take advantage. And uh, when you do so, Albert Stokowski will be the account executive assigned to your account. And just make sure you tell him that you're a client of not just CTU, but also Bookmap, and he'll be sure to make sure to honor the rebate. So uh, we're really excited about this partnership uh, with both CTU and Bookmap. And, uh, you know, feel free to, to ask any questions here in the chat panel, but I'll turn it back over to you, Bruce. Okay. All right. Thanks, Chris. Um, yeah, uh, that's just a, a, a fantastic offering there. So you're getting deals here on uh, on Bookmap as well as the data, and then it's all going to be uh, deducted uh, uh, through uh, uh, you know through your, your trading and your education uh, with CTU. Uh, so uh, anyway, anyway, um, uh, let's see here. Let me get to some of the questions. A lot of the questions here, I think I'm starting to see some here about. Um, you already are connected to DX feed right now. Okay. And you want the $49 deal. Okay. Let your subscription end uh, for your current, cause you already paid for it uh, from DX feed. Okay. So you've, you, it's monthly uh, subscription, let it end. Uh, and then, uh, or, you know, then, and then use the link here uh, to sign up uh, for the, for the next month. Okay. So that's, that's how you do it. Uh, and uh, and again, remember that this is only for TradeStation clients. Okay. All right. Let's see. Any other questions here? I I, I know that there's been a lot scrolling by here. Uh, I'm on the laptop here, so it's been kind of difficult to to read all these questions here. Um, let me just start to go through them. All right. Okay. So uh, uh, we do not have Arca. Okay, uh, Brian, uh, and that, that is a drawback, but uh, ARCA is um, uh, uh, expensive uh, and, um, uh, and DX feed is not offering that at the moment. Okay. Uh, now, you know, that said, if you, um, uh, you know, with EdgeX, and it's going to depend on the instrument as well, uh, and, the, you know, the ECNs there um, that are supporting that instrument mostly. Uh, but uh, NASDAQ and, and EdgeX or CBOE uh, gives a, a pretty good overview uh, of, um, of the liquidity uh, in the marketplace. Um, let's see here. You already subscribed. Okay, so we went, already went through that one. Um, Charles, let's see. Can you buy monthly or quarterly and switch to lifetime? Um, well, if you, if you go monthly or quarterly, yeah, you can always switch to lifetime. Uh, but uh, it, it, you won't be able to like deduct any of the you know previous uh, um, you know uh, co costs that were involved. Okay, can you cancel your trade station um, Nasdaq? Um, well, I mean, if you're using your trade station Nasdaq view um, or Nasdaq data, well then you know with your trade station, well then you're going to use it, right? Uh, but um, uh, this is this is DX feed um, uh, for Bookmap uh, and getting the data into Bookmap. Uh, so that uh, you can, you know, look at the liquidity heat map here, uh, and then and then trade into your trade station account. Okay, let's see here. Uh, yeah, you'd like to see some more trading activity. Well, I, you know, I had a few trades for you today, um, and I did go through the trade management, Stephen. Uh, I know that's helpful uh, for you guys, but uh, uh, you, you look at that one-click trading though. How, how nice it is to, you know, I'm I'm totally I have to be totally accountable for it. Uh, you know, you just can't hide from it. Uh, you know, this was my activity. This is where I move my stops. This is why I move them. Okay, this is what I was thinking. Uh, and uh, when you go through that kind of process, it, I, I think it just makes you a much you know, stronger trader uh, pretty, pretty quickly. Um, let's see, uh, do you disable a current uh, data feed? Uh, and then resubscribe. Okay, so we went through that question already. Um, uh, how do you cancel the audio alerts? Yep, uh, Bernie. Um, just uh, there's a, there's a bunch of uh, different audio alerts, but uh, let's see here. You're probably caught up in it here. Click on studies configuration, okay, and you probably have the uh, large tray alert here checked. So uncheck that, okay. Uh, you might also have it for volume dots. No, not volume dots. Uh, let's see, is it for the uh, cumulative volume delta? 
there's another trade alert here. Oh, for icebergs, right? Here, another one here. So make sure that, uh, well, you're not, yeah, you won't be able to get uh, the iceberg here. So that, that, that's a mute point here. Okay, so it's, it's large, it's gonna be your large trade alert here. All right. Okay, uh, let's see here. What if you subscribe to the NASDAQ bundle? Um, yeah, even you, you even get a deal on the, well, the NASDAQ bundle is, is I mean, that's just gonna be great. I mean, like 49 bucks a month uh, is just a fantastic deal for you guys. Uh, so uh, you can connect uh, your book map uh, for, you know, pretty, pretty cheaply here. Uh, and, um, and, and again, like, you, you know, it, it was, it's rather funny, like uh, um, the, uh, let's open it up. Uh, oh God, I can't even remember the name of the, uh, the stock here. Um, the, in, in, anyway, the, um, uh, if you, if you look at the, uh, the liquidity uh, in that, in these stocks here, um, yeah, I mean, you can see, you can see all of the, uh, you know, kind of activity back and forth here. I mean, look at, look at how these, this very high liquidity here, one player, this single singular player in here, uh, adding and pulling that liquidity, right? And, and they, the buyers take them on, they, they transact into them here, right? And then look at the skew in the auction down here. Uh, and you see buyers come in here, pushing higher through this area. I'd be looking for this next area of liquidity to trade here, and then maybe this area up here. Now they actually, well, this is this is at uh, at four o'clock. Uh, so uh, anyway, market uh, market closes there. Anyway, nice push into the closing bell there. Okay. Um, let's see. Any other questions, guys? Let's see here. Oh yeah, I do see some more. Can you switch from $99 uh, to 147? Yeah, sure. I would just wait for that 99 to end, um, Taha. Okay, and then uh, and then you can switch to the quarterly offer. Um, let's see. Other questions. Okay, just getting to them, guys. These are volume bars down here. Uh, and in fact, uh, uh, there's a, a lot of different settings here uh, for volume, for filtering your volume within Bookmap. Okay, if you're looking for something very specific. Uh, and the reason that we offer uh, that type of filtering is because, you know, in this algorithmic environment, uh, there's different ways that, uh, you know, larger players can, um, uh, you know, kind of hide their, uh, their activity. Uh, and, uh, you know, we can basically kind of, uncover that uh, through some of the filtering. Okay, uh, MBBO is gonna be included uh, in the, um, uh, that NASDAQ and EdgeX uh, feed for $49 a month. Okay, that's another, uh, another boon for you guys. Yeah, I know you need a spreadsheet for all these offers. I know I have three slides on offers uh, plus, uh, plus the trade station offer there. Uh, you should see um, once you connect your your um, uh, your book map to DX feed, okay, uh, and uh, and you have a trade station account there. I mean, you, you should be able to um, uh, when you configure uh, when you go to configure here, you should see in the drop down trade station, okay, as I, I did when I went through the example there. Okay, watch the video. I I put it in into the chat for you. Uh, let me put these links into the chat for you guys again, because um, I know there's there's a lot of links here. Right, so uh, there you go. Uh, SPY, yes, we can, we could, uh, you can also of course look at SPY uh, in here. Now, you know, that said, uh, I just want to uh, let you guys know that, um, you know, these instruments trade in very different ways. Um, you know, the, the way that, uh, that Fausto, uh, for example, you know, looking at some of these stocks here uh, that, uh, you know, they were looking at for the day, were such easy trades, I thought. I mean, they're looking at what's moving. Well, you can see it. You can see it moving here. You can see the liquidity. You can start to look for it to trade up into those levels of high liquidity. Those are your target. They can act like targets, right? Because the, the market is drawn to that longer term high liquidity because it needs it, it, it in order to, uh, to facilitate the trade. Uh, that's why the, you know, they park their orders up there. And a lot of times you'll see them just stay in the book in, in the US equities. Okay, uh, all right. 
anything more here in the chat? Uh, yeah, it was ADPN. That's right. Okay. Um, Deborah, yes. Um, when I placed uh, my trade on the it was 18 liquidity shown. Yeah, it was, of course. They, they, they were in there for a long time. Uh, they were in the 18 for, for, I think, most of the day there. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I think that's it. Um, I don't see any other questions here that are... Um, Okay, Charles. Yeah, yeah, you should you should see Trade Station in the drop down. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, Charles. Uh, this this is what you'll need though. Re recall. Um, so th this might be the issue, right? Let's just go back here a little bit. You need you need to have Bookmap uh, Global Plus, and you need 7.1 or greater. This is the alpha version. Okay, so make sure you you log into Bookmap.com, uh, and uh, you uh, you get the 7.1 version. Okay. Great, sounds like uh, you got it figured out. Okay, let's see here. Uh, Donna, you have a trade station question. If Bookmap's connected to trade station, open a computer, I'm able to, unable to have trade station open for on another computer. Uh, that's a question for trade station. I don't know if you guys. Uh... Sure, I can chime in there. Um, I don't think that that's gonna be an issue. Uh, Donna, but uh, what I'll do, I'll work with Fausto and get your contact information. Just make sure that I send you the, the correct reply. But I don't think that's going to be a problem uh, with it being a, a third party front end. Okay. Okay, great. Uh, let's see here. 7.1 Global Plus and still no trade station. Richard, really? Okay. Um, and you restarted Bookmap there and, and it's not. Uh, did you connect to the live market as well? You'll need to do that to the live market. Okay. All right. Um, hmm. No, it should. Uh, if not, well, you know, reach out to support at bookmap.com and we'll help you out there. Um, that, that's a, you know, a good, a good thing actually to go over here uh, because, uh, you know, a lot of you guys are new to bookmap, right? So um, I want to go through just a few more help resources here, um, you know, on the toolbar up here under help in bookmap. Uh, this is your user portal here, a quick link to it. There's a user guide. Um, uh, let's see the, um, the user uh, or, you know, a simple guide also, but this is for futures basically. Uh, if we go to the bookmap portal here, okay, this is where you're going to find all of these resources for yourself. Log in here. You'll find your download and license links here. Uh, and then this getting started tab here. Uh, click on that. And um, uh, you know, there's uh, different, uh, you know, just getting started here, some basic uh, videos, intro videos here, that features and components playlist that I, I mentioned for that one click trading. It was, it's in the, I put the link in there for you, for videos number 23 and 24, okay, for uh, how to use that one click trading. Okay, that, that's the trade control panel over here, okay, and then trading from the book map chart over here and managing that trade, all right? And, uh, and you'll see other educational stuff here as well. All right. All right, guys. Well, uh, I think that's it then. Um, let's see if there's any more last minute questions. Uh, the bookmap API restrictions for DX feed anytime soon. Um, well, no, is there's, there's no restriction there. I mean, uh, uh, the API, the bookmap API is Java based. You guys can write your own, um, uh, you know, automated strategies and, uh, and, you know, custom indicators, uh, if you like. Uh, Bernie, I went over that on the uh, audio alerts there. Okay. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, again, like uh, I, I just wanted to uh, to really uh, uh, reach out and, uh, and and thank you guys um, from uh, uh, you know from from CTU uh, as well as uh, as Trade Station. Uh, we're we're real happy about this and uh, real excited. I think this is going to be a win-win for 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 everybody here. Okay. So uh, other than that, uh, uh, that's uh, that's all I've got for you. Bruce, thanks a lot, and Chris, thanks a lot for being here from Trade Station, and that was a great presentation. Thank you. I hope everybody enjoyed what he went over. Yeah, I hope everybody just keeps in mind that I mean, Bruce did a nice little demonstration about the platform, how it works, but the most important thing is that. If, you join, if you're in our cyber group trading room, we do showcase this platform, actually both platforms, the trade station and the book map at the same time. 
So you could see one of the most important features of what we do at Cyber Tree University is we actually go out there and shadow the volume. And I'm telling you, I've been, been doing this for so long. I've never found a platform. I actually try to develop a platform for many years. Uh, very difficult to do. So it's better, easy enough just to team up with somebody and uh, we use it. And now having Trade Station that integrated all in once, it's a lot better. So you got the link right there if you want um, to do the demo of it. And once again, if you have not done the trial at Cyber Trade University, you want to see us using it in our room at Cyber Trading. Um, you know, like I said, you can always start small and work your way up. I know a lot of you are students already, but uh, if you want to just do a quick little uh, trial in our day trading room and see how we use it, I'll just give you the link right here and be happy to see you guys in there. All right, guys. Good luck. A lot of great content. Thanks for everyone being here. Bruce, Chris, thanks, everybody. Thanks, Trade Station. See you all tomorrow morning in the trading room, everyone. Happy trading, everybody. Keep warm.